Hi, welcome to our channel Good News. The issue of Huawei's future mobile device strategy will be discussed today. That means the Huawei Mate 50 will employ a top-tier 4 nanometers chip. Despite being banned by US chip, Huawei continues to do research in the telecoms and mobile industries. The Mate 50 will simultaneously introduce three key technologies. As everyone is aware, high silicon's chips cannot be supplied freely because TSMC's foundry was lost. For instance, it is impossible to create the well-known Kirin 9000 and Kirin 990. Last year, Huawei has only sold a small number of its tablets and smartphones using Kirin CPUs. The market pricing for the well-liked 5G Huawei Mate 40 series is more than 1,000 yuan. Many buyers of Huawei 5G mobile phones may only do so at a greater cost via a dealer or a scalper. In the face of high demand, even if the official website may be purchased, it is a drop in the ocean. The only option in such a circumstance is to find a solution to the chip production issue. We can observe that Huawei has aggressively taken on a number of stuck neck projects and completely integrated into the semiconductor industrial chain. Huawei is also actively working on its software and using this to address issues with application ecological issues. The Euler system, the Harmony system, and the rapidly developed HMS ecosystem services are a few examples. The mobile Harmony OS 2.0 has been available for hundreds of Huawei models and the pre-independence glories from the beginning of June. With with more than 120 million users in just six months, the mobile phone Harmony has advanced to a new level of development. Whether it is operational logic or fluency, it outperforms Android, and fluency does not fall short against Apple iOS. Of course, given that models like the Nova have also drawn a sizable following, in addition to the P and Mate series, which are larger than the iPhone, I believe that regular people are more concerned about whether they will be able to purchase Huawei mobile phones in the future. The good news is that. That Huawei phones will continue to be available in the future. Leaders of Huawei, including Rin Zhengfei and Su Jun, have made it quite clear that they would not abandon their mobile phone industry. In order for regular people to be able to purchase Huawei 5G models in the future, Huawei is intensifying its efforts to restart the mobile phone industry. The Mate 50, which was initially introduced at the same time as the iPhone 13 series, has been delayed due to the success of the device. The newest reports indicate that the Mate 50 will go on sale in March of next year. For Pollen, this is a product worth anticipating. According to recent product rumors, the Huawei Mate 50 will provide some new technological features and modify its look. The first 4 nanometers chip is doing well. You might be curious as to why high silicon's advanced process chips cannot be manufactured. How can Mate 50 introduce the first 4 nanometers chips? The Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 4G version chip, which is anticipated to be manufactured using TSMC's 4 nanometers process, but might also be built using Samsung's 4 nanometers process, ended up being the first model to be released. The performance is the same as the 5G version even though it is a 4G device. The Mate 50 will have a dual chip system, just as the P50. There is no question about the strength of the Snapdragon 898 because, in addition to the Apple A series, Qualcomm Snapdragon and Huawei Kirin are the two SoCs used in the top-tier smartphones. The well-known digital blogger revealed the Snapdragon 898 sample specifications and stated that it will be publicly introduced in mid-December. Adreno 730 GPU, 1 by 3.0 GHz X2 Super Big Core, 3 by 2.5 GHz Large Core, and 4 by 1.79 GHz Tiny Cores make up the Snapdragon 898. The Mate 50 has the most recent Snapdragon flagship chip and performance is also a plus. However, it does not enable 5G connection. Is the Mate 50 still available in a few 5G variants? To find out, you must wait till the press conference. Strong imaging system as usual. Concerning the Mate 50's imaging, don't worry. With enhanced optical zoom and innovative computational photography, Huawei's camera department is clearly strong, using the P50 as an illustration. Image technology is still improving, and it has risen to the top of Dexamark. Periscope telephoto lenses have progressively gained popularity in high end versions over the past two years, giving users the ability to film clearly and far away. For instance, 50, 100, and 120 releases are pretty numerous, but if you want to improve the experience, you still need to work on the optical zoom. At the Future Imaging Technology Conference, Oppo unveiled continuous optical zoom technology, advancing zooming capabilities. Optical zoom improves shooting quality compared to conventional periscope telephoto lenses by preventing issues like color misalignment and white balance shift. Second, computational photography will once again advance. The use of algorithms 
algorithms is becoming increasingly important to mobile phone makers, especially in light of Honor's multi-camera fusion computing photography technology. Huawei initially discussed the idea of computational optics during the P50 conference. Predict the aberration loss brought on by the optical route in advance using algorithms, and then restore the optimal image effect. Since Huawei has made computational photography its primary focus, the Mate 50 is anticipated to bring about yet another innovation in mobile phone image. Huawei has not lost to reality in this sense. Even though the terminal business had several issues, they decided not to keep selling the mobile phone business. According to Rin Zhengfei's earlier declaration, other Huawei divisions would assist High Silicon in its ongoing ascent of the Himalayas. This implies that Huawei smartphones and Kirin CPUs may eventually see a comeback. Since the Huawei P50 series was introduced, there has been considerable controversy around it. The 4G Huawei P50 with the Harmony system is not awful, according to certain online users who think the present 5G network has no meaningful uses. However, a different group of internet users thinks that the Huawei P50 is entirely collecting IQ tax, as it not only does not support 5G networks, but also has an increasing price. After all, the I can use it, but you can't have it principle still applies to the 5G network. Only two months remain in this year, which will pass in the blink of an eye. Additionally, we will see the debut of Huawei's top flagship Mate series. The Mate 50 series has already been the subject of several news stories in the outside world. Can it be supported by the future Huawei Mate 50 series? Do 5G networks exist? Yes, it is the solution. Finally, Pollens awaited the ideal Huawei smartphone. Huawei has developed a 14 nanometers RF chip. Digital bloggers on Facebook claim that Huawei has developed a fix for a 14 nanometers 5G RF chip and will use it in the Kirin 9000 processor equipped Huawei Mate 50. Additionally, it indicates that the Huawei Mate 50 series will join the 5G network once more. The Mate 40 and P50 series have used the Kirin 9000 chip inventory, and this might be the last batch of Kirin 9000 chip inventory, so the scenario is not especially upbeat. This issue has also been taken into account by Huawei, which is why the Huawei Mate 50 series will also debut Qualcomm's most recent Snapdragon 895 CPU, which uses Samsung's 4 nanometers technology, and is also more advanced than the A15 chip, which uses a 5 nanometers process. One extremely big core, three large cores, and four little cores make up the Qualcomm Snapdragon 895 chip's architecture. The performance is roughly 20% better than that of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor, and the primary frequency is 3.0 GHz. Unfortunately, Huawei's Mate 50 series will only be allowed to use the 4G version of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 895 CPU going forward because to issues with the United States. Other features of the Huawei Mate 50 series include the introduction of its underscreen 3D structured light technology, a 120Hz high refresh rate BOE microcurved flexible screen, and a 120W wired quick charging. Additionally, the 5 bat cameras are capable of 7.5x optical zoom. There is little question that the Huawei Mate 50 series will surpass the iPhone 13 series and set a new ceiling in the world of mobile photography. Do you think this Mate 50 is satisfactory? Thanks for having your watching in this video. You can add your ideas or suggestions below. Please keep following our channel and like our videos.